Hey, people, we're into tier 2v2. Medi and Cliff Mines blue team. It's He Man. As a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fights in melee combat begins with this refractor shield. Alongside here, Vanguard Vinci. As a Farseer support commander that fights in melee combat with some powerful buffs, debuffs, and control abilities. This is the Exodites Elite Scheme. Red team then, the Tenso is a plague champion, starts off range combat with a damage over time. Bolter can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support, can build turrets and repair, but is very slow. Around us off is Dog as a mech boy. To the point commander that fights range combat, puts out some good damage, can also support, disrupt, build structures and repair. Red team trying to take the mid here pretty early on. This is the contested VP. You have a natural for the blue in the south, natural for the red in the north. Double shooters up, we have CSM, we have this Sentinel, but no guards on following up here from He-Man. Vanguard Vinci with Banshees in between two Dire Avengers. Looks like going north, the long way over there. Going for that wreck point up here, I think. Gonna meet some sluggers though. Some Nurgle worship mid. Got the mid sewn up, although not retaking this power point, fellas. Shooter boys really want to stay behind some cover there. Meanwhile, South is being pushed by the Imperial Guard with Flamers up. They've also been executors that are doing double damage over there. Here comes the Lord Commissar. He would have lost some of his energy from the execution, so he didn't have a full shield there. Knocks over the Plague Champion and then runs away. A little bit of harassment there in the South by He-Man. Got the power down. Now decapping it. And does pretty well. Very sluggish there from the Red Team. Gonna just sat mid wait in and lose the power because of it very slow to react he's a plague champion i guess blue team also hit in the north red team slow out the gate here we have a big shooter for the mech boy whole bunch of piercing dps to shoot down these pesky eldar some shooters trying to flank here which could actually be really bad if they get caught in retreat by those banshees banshees have dropped a model mech boy teleports away but then gets tied up Again by the Farseer, she's quite quick on her feet, with Fleet also by default. Spirit Stones are up to help support those Banshees. Shooter Boy is now getting shot to pieces and might get caught in retreat here. Trying to move around before retreating, I think. There is a Spirit Stones heal. It's called Spiritual Rites. Mech Boy barely gets away, Sentinel comes barreling in. Might go down though. Can he escape? Looks like he went to uh, try and decap that wreck point. It didn't quite f finish and goes down. Tried to assist there, but loses the Sentinel. A little bit sloppy from He-Man, who gets some catechins up. The Tenso with Havocs. Look at the map. Blue team have done so well coming out of the gate early on. Tenso needs to gain some ground here and push against his power, I feel like. Lord Commissar is going to back away from mid, having capped the VP. Eldar still on this power. Orcs can't shift them. Banshee's down to three models now. Farseer is off the field, I think. No, where is she? She's over here. Fighting a plague champion in melee. Decent special. I think she was winding up another special there, but retreats halfway through it. Banshee's eventually persuaded to leave the power alone, as are the Dire Avengers. Did they actually lose a generator there? Looks like they got two pretty low. This one's been built, so maybe they did lose it and it got rebuilt. Starting to get their power back towards the south side as well, the red team. Lord Kamasar sees off the chaos from the VP. The Tenso with double Havocs up. Katachins can disrupt them, of course, from long range with their grenade launcher. Also some short range if they can get the shotgun blast off. Lord Kamasar can use his Basilisk Flare to shut down setup teams also to help him approach. He's got his power sword to chop up the heavy armor of the CSM and the carapace armor on the way. Here come the Havocs to help set up some crossfire. Oh, these guys get tied up though. Big damage from that special attack there. Hit all three models, I think, and takes one out. And another power bash. You see good usage of the Inspire Courage. Executing those guardsmen to give them double damage there for the duration. Now getting stuck into some heretics, maybe. He's chasing these guys into base. And takes another one out. Nicely done by He-Man. This is the Basilisk Flare. You see those red debuff circles. Reduces the range of the squad by 50%, I believe. The weapon range and vision range, I think. 
Take Champion trying to get away. Looks like he'll be all right. Meanwhile, towards the north, Eldar trying to push through against the Orcs. Being quite aggressive against the Greenskins over here, and Dog not really responding with a another squad up, which I think is what he needs. Mechboy does have proximity mines up. Might force Vanguard Vinci to get Rangers. Banshee's chopping up some sluggers there. They are in turn getting shot up, and the Farseer might not get away. Down to two hit points, three does go down. CSM were in retreat path. They're trying to go after the Banshees now in melee. But treating units taking 30% more damage from melee attacks, which is why you'll often see even ranged squads like CSM try to force melee combat on retreating units. Double Havoc's mid might be tough to shift. Does have double Catechins though. Don't see this very often. Might take a lot of micro to get the most out of them. They have a lot of abilities to use. Triple Havocs for the Tenso. Was this a mistake? Might have been a Overwatch mistake. We have Tier 2 for Dog. In fact, Vanguard Vinci already there, already getting Warp Spiders up. The power pressure paid off, I guess. Guardsmen here with the Sergeant of Flamers, as we've seen. They cannot swap those Flamers out for Plasma Guns now. They are stuck with them. Which can make it tough for them to engage because they need to get close. Havoc's doing their thing, suppressing his catechins. Now taking damage also from the great and clean from the great and clean one. From the plague champion over here. With his bolter, putting that green stink on them. Are they gonna drop a model there? There's their um smoke grenade thing. Giving them some range damage resistance and immunities to suppression, I believe. Pretty damn useful, but they are eventually forced off. Here comes the plague champion pushing through. Gotta bring those havocs up though. Oh, someone went down the commissar. Sink kill from the slugger, very acrobatic sink kill. Eldar trying to push through a narrow space. Proximity mines thrown out. Not sure if this is the first time he's using them. They are being spotted. Oh, spotted by allied catechins. Some Dara Avengers went down though. Banshees. Do they get away? Daka Daka on retreat might be enough. Three hit points. They stopped shooting them. Not sure if they went behind that corner enough or something. Catechin is trying to finish off those sluggers with all reliable, but they get away. Some losses then. Death Dread on the way for Dog. The Tenso still in Tier 1. He-Man going Tier 2 halfway there. Now it's Tier 2 for the Tenso. Can he use these triple Havocs well? The problem with spamming one unit, of course, is that it's um, easy to counter that. Manticore would be pretty devastating if He-Man can get one on the field. Now bashing power is the Tenso has Havocs covering it pretty well. There's a heavy weapon squad getting suppressed. Not sure what the thing behind that purchase was. Maybe expected a blood crusher up. Went some hard AV. But it's keeping the heavy bolter up for now. More Havocs coming into play. See the range shut down by the Basilisk Flare. Now it wears off. 3-4-2 to 3-5-1 on the VPs. Double cap for red team. Came back pretty strong early tier 2 here. He-Man not really able to apply the pressure against the Triple Havocs. Dropping the Heavy Weapon Squad too. It was such a strong start from He-Man. Bashing the power like he did. Hakatachun trying to get on the Plague Champion as he retreats away. They do have power melee weapons. So they can be quite a threat to a low level hero. Down goes the Plague Champion. Big shotgun blast. Now getting in on that. On the uh, Heretics there. There's the... Havoc's doing their thing. Good shot from the Oral Liable. I don't think they have another one available here. Trying to approach under the protection of the smoke. Did not grant suppression immunity. Maybe it just... Yeah, it looks like it did grant it. But it didn't stop the suppression that he already had. It doesn't clear the suppression if you already have it. Here comes that Commissar. Still a threat with the Power Sword at level 3, of course. Carapace Armor is up, as we've seen. Makes his Inspire Courage... A bit better and benefits the Commissar himself to use it. Death Dread in play. Walker vehicle for Orcs can get the burners and bits upgrade, which makes it great for bashing generators. This guy doesn't have it though. Also gives it some extra hit points. Decent melee walker without it. Get in there, tie things, tie some things up. Big AoE attacks as well. 226 to 351 double cap steal for the red team. Blue are getting their VP back and more bashing on the south by He-Man. Comes that Death Dread. 
Getting some attacks in around 70 heavy melee DPS from this guy. And some splash damage with a big special as well. Big range on that special attack. Plague Champion still down in the south. Lord Commissar runs away. We have a Chaos Dreadnought on the field for the Tenso. Triple Havocs into a Dreadnought. That's not going to be easy to deal with. Orcs pushing through the mid hit. Basilisk Flare used again. Here comes an Autark jumping over stuff. Sub Commander for Elder has some decent offensive options and a little bit of nice support as well. Might go down here though immediately from those sluggers and does so. That slugger knob is is a is a threat for sure. 65 power melee DPS just on that one model. We've got some Eldar stuff flying around, is that? Here comes the Chaos Dreadnought using its close combat claw to get in on this Farseer. Almost goes down. She does have her singing spear, gives her some heavy melee damage. If she can use Guide and Doom and then get swinging with that singing spear, she can do some work. She'd have to switch to the singing spear though. A lot of setup required for that. Is this all auto cannons? Good grief it is. Blue team reeling here. Really are reeling down to 160 VPs. Have lost some stuff. Got vehicles to deal with. Multiple auto cannons. Lehman Rust though for He-Man. How long will it live? Triple auto cannons will shred a tank. Even a Lehman Rust given time. Tier 3 for Dog. No Manticore against Triple Havoc, so surprising. I'm guessing one of that early Tier 3. 2-1 to one now for Red Team. Lord Commissar up in the north. Shotgun Blast on the Sluggers. Didn't want to stick around. These mines here being spotted by the knob leader of the Shooter Boys. Getting stuck in though is the Commissar. Good special again. 1-4-2 to 3-5-1. South is turning very, very red. And DOG can get a knob squad up pretty soon, which is going to threaten that tank quite a lot. These guys just set up here, daring the blue team to try and retake that power. Blue team kind of seem in disarray. Red team seems solid after that very slow start to the game. Might get a triple cap here, in fact. More shooting going on against the Dire Avengers. Are they going to get away? Looks like they are. Played champion stopped attacking or something. Maybe got path blocked by his own Dreadnought. Double cap still going. Here's a Lehman Russ. And that was Basilisk Clear again. Shutting down those Havocs. Gets them off the field at least. Havocs though. Sorry, Heretics getting stuck into Catachins. Did a hell of a lot of damage to them too. Are these Heretics are level 2? Yeah. Catachins level 1 as are these fellas. Mid is red. That's a Marco Zinch Dreadnought. On the way. Fast here, trying to fight the Death Dread 1v1. Using her fortune on herself. Couldn't quite get the job done. Not sure if Haywire Grenade was already used. That's why she went in. These fellas aren't capping over here. They are getting their VP back though at least. Lehman Russ now in mid. With the Vanquisher Cannon to help it deal with these vehicles. What are you pointing at, tank? Are you shooting at the... The play champion, that's not very useful. It's a Dreadnought right there. Takes a shot. Here come these Havocs. Are they going to move up? They are going to move up. Big damage from a Markov Zinch missile launcher there. Being supported by the Catachin smoke. Down goes the Commissar. He's just trying to tie up the Dreadnought. Ouch, so it couldn't fire the Markov Zinch missile launcher. The Lord Commissar doing some work with the... Emperor's Wrath there on the Triple Havocs. Down goes the Dreadnought chased by the tank. Doing pretty well for He-Man here. Some repair support as well. Catachin's doing their thing trying to support. Here comes some Eldar help. Maybe. Are you going to push forward, Banshees? What are you up to? Nurgle Worship. Tank needs to be careful. There's a Noxious Cloud too, which does heavy melee damage, I believe. So it can damage a vehicle. Not a huge amount, but it'll do some work. Here comes the fast here again. She needs to be careful. Havocs are there. Sorry, heretics are there. She's going to get out. She does have fortune up. Should be okay. Should be okay. But here's a knob squad. 
Okay, she's not okay. There's a death dread in retreat path. Took her out with a bone saw to the neck. Or whatever they call those things. Warp spiders. Daka in their face. Are they going to get away? Oh, they might have been able to finish him off that they kept shooting there. Mid is uncapped. 65 to 330. Red team was such a huge VP lead though. We've got to still favor them quite hard here. The Lehman Rust did a lot of work. Almost leveled up. Getting some repairs. Taking out those mines. Farseer is going to get revived. There we go. Lord Kamasa hits level 5. And we saw what the Emperor's Wrath can do. Need to try and keep those Havoc split up. He's doing it a little bit here. They have to think about the Nob Squad though. How are they going to deal with them? Time Field maybe. Still has Armor of Fortune up Time Field. I believe is a Tier 3 War Gear. Weird Boy as well. That's a shrewd choice. Can really mess with those double catechins if they try and get close. That's for sure. CSM in retreat. Power bashing here from He-Man again, I think. Getting a bit too close with this Demon Rust, though. Double Havocs turning to meet it. Triple Havocs turning to meet it. Where is the Emperor's Wrath? I'm not sure what the cooldown is on that thing. You'd think it's relatively sizable given the amount of damage it can do. Needs a Manticore wrap, I think, He-Man. Still would be pretty good. Still would be a pretty strong choice. Can he deal with these Havocs? Nope. 20 hit points. They get away. Plague Champion. No war gear on this fella. Almost level 3 though. And Red Team will cap mid. Weird Boy doing so. Nob Squad just able to stroll through. Chasing off the Bright Lance. What is this Death Dread up to? Banshees are what? Level 3. So they will do some damage to the Nobs. Nobs are heavy infantry. So the power weapons of the Banshees will be painful. This is also going to be pretty painful. Double Havocs with auto cannons in your face, Catechins. Can they get away? Heretic's trying to chase it. Maybe. Nope. They do not get away. He-Man bashing power. Down to 50 VPs are the blue team. Oh, wow. Nob Squad took a hell of a lot of damage. Seer Council popping up here. Almost went down. 188 hit points on two models for the knobs. Make boys level 8 has the battery pack up to help support those knobs, I guess. They're trying to shoot down his mines, are they? Those are dropped by the Lord Commissar's Global. Here comes the Farseer capping. Level 3. Steel Armor of Fortune, yes. And it looks like those Seer Council and Banshee combo dealt with the knobs pretty nicely. Maybe Guide was thrown in there and Fortune as well. Perpetual repairs for this Lehman Russ. Can they make something happen here, the blue team? Down to 37 VPs. That's a beamy death gun from the mech trying to get shots on. Gonna get shots on the Lehman Russ, that's for sure. Look at the damage from those auto cannons trying to get his Emperor's Wrath, and there it is. Now he needs to run the hell away. Boom! Almost one shot at the shrine. Here comes the Nob Squad again. Warp Vomit did its thing. Ideally, the Nob Squad would have been around when the Warp Vomit went off so they could run in and get some hits. But they're going to be kind of alone here. Death Dread gets taken down. Yes, it does. Now we see the fight. There's a war shout. Farsi is there. That's a foot of Gork, though. Really nicely placed. I think it might have done some friendly fire. Mechboy gets a heal in. But the Nob Squad are getting chopped up here. There's the Frenzy. Gives them big damage resistance. 75% damage resistance. There's other Eldar off the field now. Chaos coming to help. Auto Cannons turning around doing their thing. Grenades coming in. Uh oh. Are you going to get away though, Dire Avengers? You do get away. Double cap here for Blue Team now. Chaos Predator on the way for the Tenso. He man needs to get something on the field here. He's gonna but gonna get a Bane Blade up against knobs and a bunch of water cannons. Might not be the best thing. Get some more Lehman Russes, I think, or a Manticore or, or both. We'll see how the Bane Blade does. It's now 700, 180 down, way down from the days when it was like a thousand requisition or whatever it was. 
A thousand two hundred or something at some point, I think. Red team taking a natural back. Blue team still have the single. Nobody can take mid right now. Nobody's trying to take mid right now. I think the Chaos could get it. It's just a Lehman Rust there. Can't disrupt them. Plague Champion might be going for it now. Still no war gear on this fella. Level 3. Bay and Blade halfway done. This is a thrilling fight going on. Right, Lance trying to shoot a mech boy who tries to shoot them behind cover. And the weird boy breaks the deadlock over there. Marco Zeech. Predator tank. Still not really wanting to deal with the Lehman Rust there. A leveled up Lehman Rust. Lord Commissar getting in behind. There is the Emperor's Wrath. Might hit those heretics pretty flush. Took out a bunch of them. Lord Commissar can get a heavy melee weapon, which uh, might be worth it. None shall fall. Does that. Does none shall fall still affect allies? If it does. Using it to help out this Eldar melee force would be awesome. Blue team getting in here. Banshees are low. Banshee need to run away. There we go. Don't really have any way to disrupt the knobs. So they're doing a lot of damage with that melee force. That is a Imperial Abyss from the Tenso. A nice nobly green one. Knobs forced off. Seer Council forced off. Stuff being dragged into the Abyss though. It doesn't drag in um, retreating units these days. It used to do that ages ago. I think it still does it in retail. Bane Blade on the field. Here it is. Even Rust needs some repairs though. That's the um, more DACA Global or whatever it is for the Shooter Boys there. Lehman Rust seriously needs repairs. Does he have Guardsmen still? He does. Where are they? Here they are. I guess they were bashing power, were they? Blue team is still in this. Boom. Demolisher Cannon. Mega Rumbler. Not sure what happened there. Did that misfire? Did it hit? I think it did hit. For some reason, it wasn't a rear armor hit, though, on the Bane Blade. Big weakness for the Bane Blade, that the fact that it can get those rear armor hits. It's not as quick as a battle wagon, and the Land Raiders can't get rear armor hits. 20 to 189, single cap here for the blue team. They are holding on. In fact, they're capping mid. We have a mech boy turret up here. Cool to see. There's a double. The dog seems uh, kind of depleted here. Still has a knob squad, but they haven't been as ferocious as we've seen in the past. The melee Eldar force has done pretty well keeping them at bay. Level 4 Banshees and level 2 Seer Council. That's a hell of a lot of power melee damage. Supported by the Farseer, of course. A well-timed spiritual rights can win you that fight. Blue, blue team now sitting mid. It's up to the red team to hit him. Getting a natural back. Single Dire Avenger on capping duty here. Some Kassakin on the way for He-Man. Maybe get the um, grenade launchers up to help disrupt the knobs and stop caps. Although plasma guns against these guys will do some good damage too, of course. Kassakin, a good, a good choice here. That Chaos Predator is still around. Beamy Death Gun can do some big damage to vehicles. Needs to have vision though, doesn't quite have the vision there. Weapon range isn't always the same as vision range. Oh, look at this. We do have the Fist of Brockus up for the Lord Commissar. It's level 8 as well, so he's going to be doing some big swings with that thing. Fast is level 5 with also a heavy melee weapon. Improvised explosive goes off, and those guys stop the cap quite easily. Patatrins will naturally. Infiltrate after 10 seconds or so of inactivity. I think it's like 8 seconds or something. What are these fellas up to? Go and decap. There we go. Oh, shooter boys are waiting to dacker you up. Are they going to do it? Dog asking if he's ready for a push, I guess. Looted tank on the way. Bright Lance trying to get shots on the uh, weird boy. It looks like he did the scorched beam thing to debuff him a bit, maybe? Not sure. We still have two Havocs with auto cannons. Bane Blade making a move. Demolisher Cannon making a move. There's that repair support. Mines being dropped. Looks like it's kicking off mid. Knob Squad trying to get after the Bane Blade. It's taking a lot of damage here. 
Taking a hell of a lot of damage here. Gonna go down, I think. Does go down. Why would you push that forward first? Farseer needs to run away. Landred of Phobos on the way for Tenso now. 20 to 63. There's the remains of the Bane Blade. We'll provide heavy cover now, I believe. But, um, yeah. A sloppy loss. That was so much damage on that guy. Of course, he couldn't see what we could see. He couldn't see all of the stuff lined up there, ready to shoot at it. Just wanted to see what was going on. Reveal some enemy units, and certainly did reveal some en enemy units. Did those... I don't think those warp spiders got away up there. Can't see them on the map. Lord Kumasar getting his stubbornness up. Swapping out the Emperor's Wrath for now. You can swap back to it, of course. What did the Kassikin get? They got grenade launchers. They disrupt with every hit. Can't hit these moving CSN, though. They still have the mid. 20 to 34. It's so close. Catechin's now getting some medias. A noxious cloud on the, on the Kassikin. Able to get away, though. Pretty quick on their feet, old Kassikin here. Have that faster capping trait as well, I believe, once they get their sergeant, which they do have. Red team need to do something. VPs are pretty much evened up. In fact, right now they are evened up. See, so council still in play, level two. Still have those level four banshees waiting. Should be going after that VP, I think, Vanguard Vinci. Red team are pushing mid though. Might want to come back here. 20 to 11. There's Nunshout 4. Demon Rush should be targeting this tank here. Landred of Phobos hitting the field. Need a tank coming in. That was the Emperor's Wrath doing some very nasty things to the mech boy and something else over there. Knob Squad using their frenzy. Waited for the Seer Council to engage before he used the frenzy, which I think was a decent idea. Phobos comes in with the Dirge Caster. 1 to 1 cap, 20 to 5. Red team taking mid. Blue team are not in the north here. Another Bane Blade on the way for He Man. Don't think it's going to hit the field in time. Farseer is going to go down here, heals herself. But needs to run away, not going to get a decap. Needed to be running there, I think. Komosar goes down. Lamred of Phobos taking a lot of damage. Bright Lance is here. Even Russ as well. Goes down. Chaos Predator also went down. Can it chase down the looted tank? 2-1 to one for, for red. 3-5. to five. Got a nuke, says Tenso. He's asking for it. Red team take it. Blue team have had nothing out here to cap. He had nothing out here to cap. I think Van Gogh Vinci... I mean, it's hard. It's so hard. He's, maybe he should have gone for the north with, like, one thing when red pushed mid. But the Seer Council did such a good job fighting those knobs. Hell of a close game. If He-Man got something else up there instead of waiting for the second Bane Blade, he might have had enough to uh, see the see the red team off and cap mid. So hard to say, though. So hard to say. Level 9, Commissar. Level 6, Farsi. We had a level 3 play champion. Don't think he got any war gear up, this fella. And a level 10 mech boy. Custom force field, battery pack, and daka 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 big shooter. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.